Greetings, brothers, sisters, friends, and foes. It's Bill from Agape on the streets. And, well, I had tried to do a harvest thing this evening for Halloween, as many people are out uh, celebrating Halloween. And they usually do a big uh, haunted house here at my work. And I says, how about we try, you know, they want me to get involved, the yell in the production and stuff. And they says, how about, you know, we try more of a harvest thing. And they were going that way. And then a few of the older guys says, no, we want to do Halloween stuff. We want to full on do a haunted house. So I prayed about it. Um, it's something I usually don't participate in, but God hit me up hardcore to do it. Uh, all the way down to the soundtrack. I made the soundtrack for it. You know, they were putting them on a bunch of evil stuff. And... Uh, I actually used the word heroes and then read scripture with some crazy sounds in the background and uh, made a pretty wild soundtrack. Um, so we're going to do a video. My boss shot some quick video of it and stuff. And um, we're going to do a video of it. They want to make this a huge thing here. And God really put on my heart, don't burn all your bridges right here. You had to do the same with the LGBTQ. It's not about your comfort zone. You've got to meet them where they're at. Uh, I feel like I certainly did that tonight. So uh, keep, keep praying that some uh, amazing relationships continue to brew out of this. God's already got a lot of things going here. Um, but this is uh, pretty amazing stuff. Uh, I haven't been able to stop for a week. I mean, I have been going, 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 going. Some of you might know it's been in the low 20s. In fact, it reached below 20 uh, this morning. And um, I wasn't able to get my big heater going. We're having some issues with it. So it's getting down to 40 and stuff in the trailer. But miraculously, and God is hearing your prayers, um, because I've been fine. I'm getting up, putting my clothes on, going to work. And he's taking care of me. I've finally been able to stop and get in a tub right now and just sit in hot water and warm up because it has been cold. Um, but I've just been going. It hasn't really been bothering me that much. Um, I want to thank you guys for your continued prayers. For the very few out there con that continue to, to give me support uh, in other ways, I really do appreciate it and I do need it very much right now. This job doesn't make anything close to what I need. Uh, to move forward with either just living or ministry. Uh, and God is still very clear that this is about agape, it's about the vision, it's about the ministry. Um, I'd like to hope that that means going out with a place to stay uh, and being covered in some of those ways. But I know that ultimately, uh, even if I have to walk away from everything and just me, a shirt on my back, and, uh, walk in the streets, that's where God is sending me. That's what I'm to be doing. Uh, he's been very clear I'll be leaving here, although it's looking like it might be a few months. So uh, I'm praying about that. I don't know if I'm going to be coming back through here, uh, maybe working here again in the summer. Uh, I'm watching God do that with a lot of the nomadic ministry stuff, putting them kind of on this route where they go around. Uh, so keep that in prayer because I, I need prayer a lot there. I need God's direction. I need to hear his voice on these things. He has been so good to me so far through this. Um, I want to thank all of you that continue to pray. And I know this shakes a lot of people, this whole lifestyle and stuff. But I have shared with you some of what God showed me along the way. He's led me these truckers. He's led me other just nomad guys that have uh, either retired or they're working on jobs, hitting the road for Jesus. Uh, and it is growing. It is huge what I see going through. This truck stop blows my mind. It has taken away any doubt of uh, the fact that God's doing a new work and he's doing something very different than what he's done in the traditional American church. So I want you guys to try to be open with that as you pray to God and you ask him to show you what he's doing in this new generation, this new time uh, after we've gone through COVID and so many crazy things, this country has taken such a beating. Uh, what does God's work look like on the streets of America now. Um, so I, I want to put that out there and ask you guys to pray over that and really ask for God's revelation. And please share me uh, with me all, whatever he shows you. Uh, I'd love to discuss it with you. Go to our website, agapeonthestreets.com and um, 
Let's chat. Let's chat. I'd love to share, you know, iron sharpens iron. Uh, so even if we disagree, I still love you. That's great. Um, but let's see what God does with some discussion. Well, that was an amazing shower. And uh, I kept a little scruffy here. It's funny, uh, a lot of the guys at work, uh, well, you always have such amazing philosophy, such amazing things you say. You'd like this wise old guy. I go, uh, no, that's scripture. But that's fine. They want to call it philosophy for now, and uh, I'll just keep reminding them it's scripture. But uh, I'm going to catch up with you in a little bit when I get to the trailer. And uh, i got my little wise old man uh, the whiskers here. Well, I am back in the trailer, and I've got uh, plenty of blankets. It's about 50 in here right now, but by tomorrow morning, uh, with the cold, the 20s and stuff, it, it goes down to about 40. Um, but I'm fine. Again, uh, it's been pretty amazing how God has somehow miraculously covered me through each and everything. There's a lot of stuff going on at work, and I need you guys to keep praying. Um, they've got me, they want me to start doing a bunch of video for them. Uh, they saw some of the video stuff I did, and they go, wow, you just do that on your phone. Well, you must be amazing, you know, doing uh, working on the workstation. And I go, well, I, I've done it for many years. It's been a little while. I might be a little rusty. But they're uh, starting to put me onto a lot of these things now. And um, I don't know uh, where it's going, but um, I'm starting to hear a little stuff about they're trying, they'd like me to go out to Salt Lake, to their place out there, things like that. So, uh I don't know. I, I've got to really hear from God on this and and see how it's all going. Uh, a lot of the young people here are connecting with me. God's doing a lot of amazing things. Um, he's amazing. God is amazing, and and He opens a lot of doors. But then also there are distractions, so I I need to be very careful here. I want to thank all of you for praying for me. Um, I'm having a lot of soreness issues. In fact, right now my arm, I'm holding this camera up and it is so sore. Um, I took that shower tonight and as I got out, one of the workers there at our truck stop uh, walked into a glass shelf. So I got hung up there dealing with that. I've got a lot of stuff I end up filling in here after hours, but uh, there's nobody around. So uh, to help the guy out, you know, got him situated, got, it, got him taken care of. Uh, but I wanted to come back and finish this video. I got a very early call in the morning, so uh, I, I need to get some rest here. But I love all of you very much. Love to hear from you. Please uh, get a hold of me. Uh, go to our website, agapeonthestreets.com. Uh, there's some ways of, on there if you don't have any of my uh, information. If you do, you know, call me, text me. Uh, love to hear from you. Love to chat with you about different things God's put on your heart. And... Um, God bless you. God bless you very much. Um, God's doing great things. He is. I want you to know he's here in your prayers. And there's some very different stuff going out there. Uh, but as I'm seeing more and more every day, he's got you covered. He's, he, loves his, he loves his precious children. So uh, God bless you all. Bye-bye.